Hello, this is Adana, and today I'd like to talk about my altar. Well, first off, let me show you my altar as I have it set up usually. I know you're kind of far away and it's hard to see, so let me see if I can't zoom you in a little bit closer without dropping. I'm using my uh, my laptop for the video, so it's very hard to actually get it to where I want it. So I thought the easiest way to explain the way I have my altar set up is to take things out individually and explain them to you as I go. So I noticed that uh, first things first, I have altar stand. It's not really an altar stand. It's more like um, a bedside table that has four drawers, and I use all those drawers for my altar stuff, you know, like uh, my big sensor bowl that I don't have enough room for, um, my extra offering bowl, which I will go into. I store sea salt and extra candles and incense and altar cloths and anything related to my practice that I can actually fit in there. Not everything does fit. I have some candles that are 12 inches and too big for the drawers, so I use them in this. I store them in here. They have to fit sideways, but they do fit. And everything else that doesn't fit, I usually squeeze onto my meditation station or just put in the closet. <laughs> if it's in the closet, it doesn't get used. Alright, so first, ultra cloth. This is actually just a black cloth, like a napkin. I have two of them. One of them is on my tarot card set, so it's pretty big. It's about this big. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> about this big. Oh well, you know what I mean. It's actually wider than the stand and twice as twice as wide, no, long. And what either way, I fold it in half and it fits over the top just fine. And on top of the, my altar cloth, I put everything else. So first let's start with my God and Goddess candles because I do have a Goddess and God candle. I just don't have statues at this time. I do plan on making a statue that that will not only be an offering but it will have a spot for um, candles and if I get my way I will make it so that I can put votives, stick, and pillar candles all in one little area with indentations going deeper and deeper, the deepest one being for the taper or stick candle then going out for up from uh, the votive size to the pillar size then having an offering bowl in the front but that really depends on uh, how much clay I managed to get. I have to order online so I have no idea how much one or two ounces of clay actually is when I'm molding it. So that is going to be a project I will tackle over the next month because I haven't gotten the clay yet and I haven't ordered it yet. But my God and Goddess candle are currently on glass um, candle holders, taper candle holders that I got from the dollar store and on each is a ribbon. Gold is on the silver candle and silver is on the gold. That reminds me that there's both the god and goddess and all of us and both male and female aspects within one person. So that's just a little reminder. I also have these which are wonderful. What they do, and it's very dirty I apologize, what they do is they catch all of the wax that drips down and further protects the surface. Now under my god and goddess candle I do have a glass pillar holder because I like the reflection of the light and for the goddesses round again it's dirty I apologize and for the god it's square what I have noticed is that most people put the goddess on the right and the god on the left that doesn't resonate with me so I go with what feels right and for me the goddess is on the left side of my altar I would also like to point out that these two candles, this one is silver, and this one is gold. I did not buy them that way. I bought gold and silver paint and I painted them myself. It was cheaper to do that than spending a full dollar or more per candle that happens to be silver or gold. Now, next I'm going to show you is my working candle. This is on my altar. I light this whenever I do any kind of divination or energy work or praying offering or anything. I have a, a separate candle that I use for meditation, but this is my working candle for everything else. 
It's uh, actually a stick candle I got from the dollar store in a soapstone votive holder, but it doesn't really drip wax, so I don't have to worry about it too much. And this was a gift, so I did not buy it. And I love soapstone, so I am planning on getting a whole set of just soapstone stuff for candle holders and everything. But uh, that's going to take a while because it can get kind of expensive. Next is my offering plate. This right here, I don't know if you can really see it. It has uh, seashells on it. Let me just get this stuff off. But it was technically a pillar candle, and I bought it cold and I was working over there. They had a nice little selection of very rustic kind of decor, and I got this on clearance. I use it as um, an offering plate. It's slightly kind of like a bowl, but not much. And I put shells, seashells on there because I didn't want this altar to be completely God oriented with it being dark. Now I do my altar in two different setups. One for the dark half of the year, which features the God holder, and then one for the light half of the year, which I use a, um, a white or light colored napkin. It's more ivory than anything else. And I use this seashell as my offering bowl instead of the antler pillar. This, I got this at the dollar store for a dollar. It's really nice. I love this thing. So um, when I have this up, though, I fill it with acorns and twigs and rocks and, and pine cones and other representations of the god because I don't want too much of one DD, I want both of them reflected onto the altar. So I fill this up with shells, which I got these shells at the dollar store. So I don't know if they're actual real shell shells. I believe they are because I can see little bits and pieces of where they haven't been filed down all the way. But even if they're not, whatever. I like them so that's all that matters in the end and that's very sloppy compared to how I hit it but it's okay and this I think is a feng shui coin I had three of them I gave two of them away wanted to give this one away but couldn't find this one and after I gave it, the other two away with all my jewelry stuff several years ago I found this one and I use it as a lucky coin it has a phoenix whoops I believe that's a phoenix but it has a bird and a dragon on it. Let me take a look. I use this as a lucky coin. I'll just put that right in the center of my offering. This I use in place of a pentacle right now because I don't have one. I do plan on ordering one here relatively soon, but for now this this will work. I got this at the Family Dollar as part as a, a Christmas um, ornament set. And last is my candy dish. I love this candy dish. I've, you've seen it several times already if you've watched my other videos. I like to put my uh, my working candle on top of it for the reflection. I'll be honest, it's pretty. It's the only real use I have for it. I just, it's pretty. I like it. And then of course there's my incense holder and my crystals. I don't actually have enough room to put my um, to put my tarot cards, which happen to be right here. I usually set these over on my meditation station instead. And uh, other than that, I believe that that's just about everything. Oh, and here, I'll show you this real quick before I wrap things up. My candle for rituals to represent fire is a big votive I got from the dollar store. Okay. That about wraps everything up. I'm glad I finally got this video under 10 minutes. It took me three tries. <laughs> so if you want a video response, please go for it. I love seeing other people's altars. I've watched hours of altar videos on YouTube already. Or if you want to comment on mine or make any suggestions, go ahead. Have at it. But for now, this is not a, this is a sem, what I call a semi-permanent altar. I don't actually do rituals over here. It's too open, and I don't mind doing rituals with my boyfriend nearby, but I don't like his father being nearby because he's just one big negative ball of energy that 
pretty much permeates the entire house when he's here. He doesn't even have to be in the same room or even on the same floor. So I try to do all my rituals when he's not home and there's just not enough room right here in front of the altar to actually do it because about a foot and a half away from my altar is the back of the couch. And we don't really have any other place to put my altar. So this is what I'm working with. It's very simple. And also I'd like to note that the silver and gold candles I don't really burn as my god and goddess candle. I just wanted to show those off. The silver I usually use for espats and the gold I usually use for sabbats and otherwise I use two purple stick candles, light lavender colored candles, which I may switch to a deeper purple but after I burn all my light lavender ones. So that is my altar video. Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment, message me, whatever. Have a nice day. Bye.